happy to welcome Chef Chris Ketke to the morning blend. He's got an impressive resume that's at least a mile long. Yeah, he's been cooking professionally for more than 30 years. Currently, he's the vice president of the Kendall College School of Culinary Arts in Chicago and host of Let's Dish on the Live Well Network. Great show. Nice to have you here, Chris. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be yeah. here. It's great to be in Milwaukee. Right. Well, we're I mean, glad like, you're here. Wow. It's going to be a good weekend. How'd you get yeah. your start cooking? Was mom a really good cook or you know dad what? at home? You know, this, uh, it's a long story, and we don't have that much time. But, um, yeah, I my mom's great cook, and I always was in the kitchen when I was 12 years old. No joke. I was in the backseat of my parents' car, stressing out about what am I going to do someday. And it like at twelve, at twelve, <laughs> and it and it came to me, and from that moment on, I took my paper out money and started buying cookbooks, and wow, never looked back. That's wow. so cool. What are you making back. for us today? All right, so we are making it's it's a lamb chop. We're making lamb today. Lamb chops, Moroccan lamb chops. Okay. And what's really cool about Morocco is it was sort of at the center of the spice world, and so as a result, lots of different flavors. Okay. All right, you ready? ready? You, you yeah. have to help me here ready. because ready. And, and by the way, everything looks hard and sounds fancy, but super easy. Okay, really I like we that. like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bunch of spices in the bowl. Okay. So that's some coriander, ground okay. up coriander. Okay. This a little bit of ground up ginger, just a tiny mm -hmm. bit. You're doing great. Look at that. Thank what you. skill? Paprika. Yeah. Okay. A little tiny bit of cayenne. That's for the heat. That's that's, that's like Ooh. stuck in there. There we go. Oh, there's a little right. bit of this left in there that's too. Right, you that's want right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> I love me some it's just paprika. Cooking. All right. This is some ground cumin. Okay. Love Cinnamon. cumin. It's my Cinnamon. new favorite Ooh. cooking spice. Cinnamon. Isn't that unusual? And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put in some salt. Okay. Any of these guys? And I just, yeah, in just a second. Okay. And right over here is a clove of minced up garlic. Mm -hmm. And then the most expensive spice in the world Whoa. is saffron. Don't right let there. Tiffany touch it. She'll drop <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> I, heard I about smelled that. it. It smells kind of sweet, almost a little bit like it's uh, awesome. cherry. It's awesome. No, what seriously, is it? she do dropped like thousands of dollars worth $10, of, of mush truffles. They yeah. picked them up, I'm sure. I did. They did. Well, they're dirty. Yeah. They grow on the ground. You know, they're exactly. mushrooms. So. All right, here we go. I'm going to put a little bit of Kill me. Just a little bit for the sweetness. Okay. And then if you can take that's lemon juice. All right. Dump the lemon juice mm -hmm. in. Perfect. And there's some olive oil over there. Just kind of a nice drizzle of olive oil. Blue. Beautiful. Too much? That's that's great. That's okay. perfect. Okay. I'm gonna mix that up. Cool. And you can smell it. It smells great. Mm -hmm. And then do you want to grab those two lamb chops? I do. I love this. I don't have to do all the work. This is See? awesome. Put them right into that marinade. I said, I told you, I said, I was surprised that this is what lamb chops kind of look like because I'm used to eating like a lamb shank, you know, sausage off a. Like gyros. Like a gyro. Kind of this yeah, is different. This it looks more like a, like a beef to me. Totally like a, different. And then what we're going to do with this is let it sit. You want to mm -hmm. put it in the fridge like for 12 hours. Oh, that brings okay. all the flavors in. And when we're done, what we're going to do is saute it like right over here. Like, voila. So what you want is a really hot pan, okay. olive oil in the pan, put the meat right on top of it you know, into the pan and cook it until it's nice and medium rare. And right at the end of the cooking, we're just going to take some sesame seeds, mm, okay. sprinkle the sesame seeds over the top. Okay. All right. That's that. Now, what okay. are we going to serve with it? Right. What we're going to do. Salad. We do salad and we do some couscous. Okay. okay. And so we're going to make the couscous. And what we do for the couscous, I just want to show you the beginning of the couscous because a lot of people are like, what is that? I had no <laughs> clue when you told us. So this is, this is fennel. And what, what you do with the fennel actually is we're going to cut off the top of the fennel. Okay. Just remove the top. Green we don't really, stuff. Yeah, okay. we don't really eat that I'm so much. I'm glad to see somebody do this. Okay. Yeah, I've and only then, used a spiced fennel. Yeah, totally yeah. different. And really? this, yeah. this, yeah, this is so good. You can smell it. It's mm -hmm. kind of an anise smell. So we cut it in half, and you see mm. there's a core in the middle. I like that. Isn't that nice? A little licorice -y. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. know, and actually in Italy, they used to chew on it raw before they'd go on a date. For good breath? Uh-huh. Huh. huh. Or good right. luck. You know. Just don't, chew, don't mix it up with garlic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so now what we do is we cut out that center. And then all you have to do is just kind of cut it up like so. Like a Almost cabbage. Like ca yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> cut it up into a dice. Okay. Like that. Simple. We then okay. take that. We're going to put it in a pot with some chopped up onions. Saute it till it's good and soft. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is this guy right over here. This is Israeli couscous. Okay. We're going to put in the Israeli couscous is the bigger stuff. It mm -hmm. looks like yeah. little pearls over here. We're going to put that in the pot along with some chicken broth. You just buy it at the store, bring it up to a boil, 
That's so it. There you go. Turn it off. It's done in five minutes. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay, we got uh, less than a minute left. Less than so. a minute. So let's make a really fast salad. Okay. I have some orange segments over here. Okay. This is chopped up orange. I'm going to take some Kalamata olives. Mm -hmm. One just rolled right off the table. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. It's, I just, it's, on my <laughs> it's just like the truffles. <laughs> Put the olives in there. Tiny bit of rose water. Oh. Yeah, this is really unusual. Aromatic. Tiny bit of cayenne. A few more seconds. And. Let's put it all Let's together. It Here we oh, go. Voila. And voila. voila. Put the lamb on top. That's okay, beautiful. Like so. While you do that, we're going to give some information where you can see uh, Chef Chris Ketke. He is going uh, to be at the Milwaukee Nary Fall Home and Remodeling Show. Saturday, you'll be there cooking at 11, 2 30, and 6 15. And then Sunday at 11 and 3 o'clock. Here's the information for the Milwaukee Nary Fall Home and Remodeling Show. It's going on Friday through Sunday, Friday and Saturday from 11 to 8, Sunday from 10 to 5 at the Wisconsin Expo Center at State Fair Park. That looks beautiful. Oh, that Chris. is gorgeous. That it is a good. gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Got to taste it during mm -hmm. the break. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Appreciate yeah. it. Awesome to meet you.